As soon as children are confident and competent to use numbered lines for subtraction, they will count back in tens and then in ones. So for example, with a question 4 to 7 take 23, they would start at the number 4 to 7 on the right hand side of the number line, then count back in tens until they've counted back 20. So they count back 10 to reach 37, then count back another 10 to reach 27, and then count back in ones, so they need to subtract three ones, minus one to get to 26, another one to get to 25, one more to get to 24. So that 47, take 20, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, gets them to 24. So 47 take 23 is equal to 24. To help children become more efficient, they then start subtracting the units in one jump. They use the known fact that 7 take 3 is equal to 4. So for the question 4 to 7 take 23, once they have subtracted the tens, they then subtract the units in the one jump. So because they've reached 27 after subtracting 20, they then subtract three units in one jump. So the 27 take three gets them to 24. So 47 take 10, 20, three gets them to 24. As they become even more confident, children can then start subtracting the tens in one jump and the units in one jump. So for the question 4 to 7 take 23, they start at the number 4 to 7 on the right hand side of the number line. They then first subtract 20 to reach 27 and then subtract the 3 to reach 24. So that 47 take 23 gets them to 24. Bridging through 10 can help children become more efficient. This all depends how good they are with number bonds. So for example, with the question 42 take 25, they would start at the number 42 on the right hand side of the number line then initially subtract 20 in one jump, counting back to the number 22. Because they are now at 22, the further subtraction of 5 can be broken down into subtracting 2 to reach 20, and then subtracting a further 3 to reach 17. So the question 42 take 25, they get to 17.